Hey guys, my name is Usman Zeb and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to show you how I created this render using SketchUp for 3D modeling and then I render it in V-Ray and do the magic in Photoshop. So let's start in. So then I import AutoCAD plane in SketchUp. Then I trace all the walls one by one making a separate group. And then separate rectangles for all the openings, doors, windows. Then I extruded all the walls. then the door and windows so I left a space for all the doors and windows and place them later and I made a base for the model so the so then in SketchUp Warehouse, I use SketchUp Labs materials. The pro tip here is, if you want to change the size or scale of these materials, the panels and other details won't mess up. It's always connected to the clouds, the server. So from there, you can change and resize it very easily according to your desired door in your windows like let's suppose this lighting door uh, I want to close it so it's, it's really easy like to close it and resize it Same is the case with this window. I close and resize it and remove the extra panels from there to make this door look like a window that we can use it in physical models. And do the same to all these doors and windows. So here I want to add some details in the model like gears and the human scale. So I downloaded these chairs from V-Ray Cosmos library it have a lot of variety of chairs and other furniture okay so here I uh, downloaded a tree which is so easy to make in physical models don't use actual tree uh, because it's so hard to make the detailing and leaves of a tree in physical models so it won't look so real So then I downloaded models and changed their material because in physical models <clears throat> it's so hard to make this kind of materials detailing in a human scale. So to give more realism to the model, I changed the material of human scale. Okay, the view is very much important in every render and we have to make this render looks like it captured in a studio. So we have to make this kind of surrounding. Okay, 
Okay, so the final touch up and the result was like this. It's quite nice. So I imported this image to Photoshop and the camera raw filter, this effect is magic. Like you can change the exposure, the clarity, the, the color configuration, everything so easily. So I wanted to make this image bigger so that I can add more details for that. I used the same image and rotated it. So yeah, our image is ready for detailing. So I lock this layer and make a new layer for sun path. Make sure to add new layer for every other element, every other detail so that you can change it later and it will be really easy. Okay, so I add a lot of detail. So you can use any tablet or iPad or drawing pad for it. Uh, I use Photoshop and just a mouse and it worked fine. I use every detail like the entrance, the shadow of the windows, the, the sun path, the ventilation, every detail. You can use these kind of details in discussion with clients or discussion with the teacher or university projects, education projects. Or you can use these kind of models in your portfolio. In the main cover page, it will look really nice. So yeah, make a separate layer for every detail so you can copy it and place it over another element. You won't have to draw it again from the start. And remove the sketchy lines from the chairs and other detail so it won't hide behind it. After all these details, I added some text to make sure to use a font which look like a handwriting so it will give more realism to your image and render. And make sure to use freehand lines so it will also look good and give a more sketchy impact. You can copy it and place it for every other detail you want to give. This is the advantage of making a separate layer for every detail. So we did some adjustment of text and arrows to make it look more catchy and presentable. So yeah, the final project was really nice.
to make some adjustments, the final touch up and yeah, it's ready. So you can add some extra details, being more creative and you can send me the details on my emails, that would be really nice.